हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ बी एस फिफ्थ सेम क्वेश्चन पेपर क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस 2022 डिब्रूगर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सोल्व अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन पार्ट वन एंड टू लिंक्स लिंक्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड वी कैन सोल्व फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर टूडे बिफोर वी स्टार्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ऑल्सो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स इज फॉर मी टू क्रिएट न्यू कॉन्टेंट्स एंड हेल्प मी टू ग्रो माई चैनल and uh, one more thing if you want to follow me on insta this is my insta id oza o z h a o z look at it l a k h y a j i t 123 this is the insta id you can follow me on insta so now let's uh, start now let us take the first question 4a so what are momentum space wave functions so how momentum space wave function is uh, fourier transform of position space wave function so i have already solved this question i just uh, i have already made a video on this topic in the description box if you check the description box i have written question number 4a and for a answer and i have given the link of that video okay and uh, i have solved this one also obtain an expression for the wave function of a gaussian wave packet briefly explain the spread of gaussian wave packet so link of this video is also in the description box i have given uh, i have written for a or answer okay this is for a or answer then i have given the link there so you can check okay then uh, obtain an expression for energy of a simple harmonic oscillator using frobenius method so this is also done i have already made a video on this topic a as well just uh, check question number 4b answer and uh, uh, click the link provided with this question number in the description box so just we are to solve now this part last one 4b or obtain a, obtain the energy eigen values for particle confined in one dimension square well potential so let's start with this question okay so question number 4b that is or okay first one is already in the description box so now you see so now you see figure 1 uh, we have considered a particle in, inside a box of mass m here you can see in the, the figure 1 so let us consider the one dimensional motion along x axis of a particle of mass m in a hollow rectangular box having Uh, perfectly rigid walls okay as shown in the figure 1 okay let the origin uh, at one corner of the box uh, as shown in the figure 1 okay and motion is confined between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a okay x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a and so that the inside the box uh, sorry outside the box as uh, as you can see the just wait as you can see the particle is inside the box and uh, the walls are rigid so that's why uh, you know the outside the box wave function is uh, psi x is zero here and the potential energy curve for the particle is shown in the figure 2 okay is shown in the figure 2 and uh, it is called e square well potential of infinite depth so this figure so what we have done here we have considered a particle this is the particle of mass m its motion along x axis between this uh, in this box which is confined between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a and uh, as it is inside the box and these are rigid walls and uh, and it cannot uh, go outside the box that's why the psi x outside the box that is equal to 0 okay we we'll consider that way this is figure 1 and this is figure 2 so here is the potential energy curve okay uh, in figure 2 and this is called e square well okay so now what we going to do here and also let us assume no force is acting uh, on this particle inside the box so potential inside the box is suppose 0 okay so let us also assume no force acting on the particle 
inside the or in the box okay so potential energy is equal to zero so now you see for the motion of a particle along x-axis for the motion motion of a particle along just wait along x-axis right along x-axis inside a box inside a box where the potential energy v of x is equal to zero the time independent schrodinger equation the time time independent schrodinger equation in the equation is given by a squared square minus a squared square by 2m d square psi by dx square is equal to e psi this is the short in the equation right now you see what we can do here in this case e is the total energy okay is the total energy is the total energy now uh, if we simplify this so what we can write here so it can it can be simplified in this form so this one on the other side so it's gonna be minus 2m e by a cut square into psi and this can be written on the left side so it's going to be plus on the right hand side it's going to be equal to zero now let us replace this one by k square psi is equal to zero right now you see solution of this kind of equation solution of this kind of this is suppose equation number one let me take this as equation number one okay so here uh, k is equal to root over k is equal to root over 2 m e by a cut square okay this is k this is suppose equation number two okay so solution of equation number one dif solution of this uh, kind of uh, differential equation is given by psi of x a sine k x plus 1 b cos k x okay and uh, here a and b are the constant of integration a and b are let me write simply constant constants okay these are constants okay so here you see we have boundary conditions and uh, that is at x is equal to 0 uh, psi of x is equal to 0 and uh, at x is equal to a also psi of x is equal to 0 okay so first from the first condition if we put x is equal to 0 then what we get here if you put x is equal to 0 here then psi gonna be equal to 0 right this first condition implies this implies that so let me write here uh, let me write here okay the first condition is this one x is equal to 0 psi of x is equal to 0 in that case this, if, uh, this one will be equal to 0 and uh, let's put x is equal to 0 here and here also then what you're gonna get here you see 
we know that sine 0 is 0 this term gonna be equal to 0 and this is also equal to 0 we're gonna left with uh, we're gonna get b cos k0 k0 means simply you can write cos 0 right cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is 1 so we're gonna get b is equal to 0 so from uh, first condition implies b is equal to 0 first condition implies b is equal to 0 right so you that's why therefore you equation uh, let me take this is equation number 3 let me take this solution as equation number 3 okay so therefore uh, equation number 3 equation number 3 can be written in this way that uh, psi of x if we put this value b equal to 0 in equation number 3 if we put b equal to 0 here then what you're gonna get psi of x is equal to a sin kx a sin kx right a sin kx now if we use the second condition x is equal to a psi is equal to 0 right then what we're gonna get so using the second condition in 3 second condition second boundary condition I hear you say just wait second boundary condition if we use the second boundary condition using second boundary condition okay using second boundary condition from equation number three what we're gonna get from equation number three what we're gonna get we're gonna get x uh, sorry psi of a because second boundary condition is x at x is equal to a at x is equal to a uh, psi of x is equal to zero right this is the second boundary condition so if we use that we're gonna uh, uh, here you see this is the equation number three if we use this in equation number three so this is the equation number three if we use that value x is equal to a so then what we're gonna get here you see psi of a is equal to zero if psi of a is equal to zero and uh, also we have got that b is equal to zero from the using the first condition we have got b is equal to zero and then we're gonna get a from this one this is equal to zero and we're gonna get this one okay that a sine simply you can write this way just do it uh, psi of a is equal to a sine k a and this psi of x at a x is equal to a is zero that means psi a is equal to zero so we can write a sine k a is equal to zero right and if this is the case we cannot take a is equal to zero here we cannot take a is equal to zero okay uh, because um, there will be no solution if we take a is equal to zero already we have got b is equal to zero using the first uh, boundary condition so that's why we cannot take a is equal to zero in this case now let me clean this thing. okay so so here we're gonna take sine k a equal to zero sine k a is equal to zero and that implies that k a is equal to n pi this is the solution of sine k a right and uh, if that is the case then k gonna be equal to n pi a n pi by a sorry n pi by a where n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma dot 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 so on right so now you see here we cannot take n is equal to 0 because if we take n equal to 0 k will be 0 if k is 0 then you uh, energy will be 0 and psi will be 0 everywhere in the box okay so n is equal to 0 cannot be taken okay remember that so now what we can have here you see so what will be the wave function in the box now you see this is the equation number three so what we have got we have got that b is equal to zero we have got b is equal to zero that's okay 
and we have got the value of k that is n pi a right so that's why we can write that uh, the wave function psi of x is equal to a sine sine n pi by a into x we can write that way right so this is the wave function for the motion in the region x greater than zero right so wave function wave function for the motion in the region in the region x greater than zero less than a is is that is psi of x is equal to a sine n pi by a into x that's what we can write okay so now also we have got that k is equal to we have already got here from equation number two this is the value of k right let me copy this and let me go to the next slide okay and uh, this is equation number two right and let me take this as equation number suppose four k is equal to n pi a let me take this as suppose equation number four this is equation number four now let me copy this equation as well let me go to the next slide so this is the equation number four right now what we can do now using now using sorry now using equation number four in equation number two then what we're gonna get here we're gonna get root over 2me by a squared square is equal to n pi by a that's what we're gonna have right so now squaring both sides what we're gonna get we're gonna get 2me by a squared square a squared square is equal to n square pi square by a square and it's gonna give you e is equal to e is equal to n square pi square sorry n square pi square a squared square divided by 2m into a square that's what we're gonna get right so hope you have understood and this equation shows the eigenvalue of energy are discrete not continuous okay so this is the expression for eigenvalue okay this is nothing but eigenvalue here n is equal to 1 2 3 dot 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 okay so eigenvalues of energy so this is what eigenvalues of energy so this is what eigen values of energy so these are the eigenvalues of energy okay so this is not a single value if you put n is equal to 1 2 3 you're gonna get uh, you know discrete values okay for different values of n okay so eigenvalues of energy uh, so so if you want me to complete the uh, paper then please do like the video okay so at least uh, make sure that this video gets 100 likes okay so if you want me to upload the next part very soon then please do like the video okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video